Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate, and he joins me now. Do you get the feeling Andrea Mitchell hates your guts, Vivek? You know, I think she hates what I articulate. That's for sure. She and I <laughs> yeah. have never met in person, so I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so one I of the things RFK I don't do, Jesse, is I don't the let them day. railroad me. I had, I had RFK Jr. on the other day, and he has a lot of respect for you. If I invited you and he on the show right here on set, would you guys hash that out? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I okay. think more dialogue is good for the country. Okay. And good. I think one of the things he's doing in the Democratic primary, I appreciate he's challenging orthodoxy. That's what I'm doing as a Republican. But I think that we need to transcend those partisan boundaries. I would do it. Uh, there's a lot of transcendence going on. You're getting knocked around by a lot of these other politicians, especially on foreign policy. So we heard Trump's concept of stopping the war in Ukraine. He says it's over in 24 hours. How would Vivek Ramaswamy, the president, stop the war in Ukraine? Very clear vision. I would do a deal that Putin would say yes to, but that actually advances American interests so that the United States wins. Here's what I would do. I would freeze the current lines of control. I would further make a hard commitment that NATO will not admit Ukraine to NATO. That's enough to get Putin to do the deal. But I will require something even greater in return, Jesse. Russia has to exit its military alliance with China. Right now, we're pushing Russia further into China's hands. The Russia-China military alliance is the single greatest threat that the United States faces today. And so just as Nixon did it in 1972, I'll do it in reverse. Pull Russia apart from China. And by the way, get Russia to also remove its military presence in the Western Hemisphere. Get out of the Western Hemisphere. So President, Reopen economic relations with Russia. That's how we do it. President Ramaswamy flies to Moscow. He sits down across the table from Vlad and he says, you're going to give up your alliance with China. And Vlad's going to say, OK. He's going to say, OK, because <laughs> I'm going to say we'll reopen our economic relations with Russia. OK. And further, we'll end the Ukraine war and also make sure that NATO never admits Ukraine. Even and though the economic get done. relations Jesse, with China is much more valuable to Russia. The reason it's more valuable is because we've wrongfully cut off Russia from the West by bombing the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines and also sanctioning Russia. So if we can reopen the Western economic relations with Russia, Russia has less of a reason to be in partnership with China. There are also cracks in the armor of that relationship, Jesse, if you look closely. Russia actually sent weapons both to India and to Vietnam, both of which border China. They're sending a signal. China wants to build a railroad in northeast China to get to the ocean. Russia won't let them. So there are cracks well, in that armor Vic. now. Biden wants now to build a railroad to across apart. the entire Pacific. So let's let's get rid of him first and then we'll let you deal with with Xi Jinping and and Vlad. Thank you so much for coming on Jesse Waters Prime Time. And we look forward to you sitting down across here with RFK Jr. and hashing things out like polite young gentlemen, which we saw you do with the quite uh, hefty Al Sharpton many, many years ago. Thank you, Vivek. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse.